All right, so I am going to walk you through setting up your Kartra Mail DCAM. Um, so the first thing we want to make sure that you've done already is in integrations. So over here on the left, you're going to go to integrations. And then in your Kartra Mail here, you want to make sure that you do not have an email address that says at kartra.com. That is a placeholder. It's not your actual, it's not an actual email address. You wouldn't be able to check any responses. So you do want to be sure that you put in an email address that is at the custom domain that you own. So number one, you need to have a custom domain. Number two, you have to have business email hosting. And number three, you're going to take that email address and put it into this spot right here. Okay, so in my example, I'm going to be using beginnerbusinessbuilders.com. So my email address is beginnerbusinessbuilders.com. We'll just put that in and then you click edit to save. Now, you'll see a pop-up here saying that your DKIM configuration is missing. So we can click here to open up and set up the DKIM record. The other way to get to this section is to go to your profile in the top right and then from the drop down go to Kartra Mail DKIM. You'll open up onto this screen here. We'll click the box in the bottom right to add a DKIM record. It's going to ask us what domain we want to use here. So I am going to put in the domain that matches the email address that I have in my integrations. And then we're going to follow these steps here. You can open up the document that's going to help to walk you through it as well. But I'm going to show you it right now. It looks like that didn't go through, okay? So I'm going to walk you through these steps anyway. First thing is log into your DNS provider. So this is where your domain is hosted. For most of you, that might be Namecheap or Google Domains or GoDaddy. If you're using GoDaddy, you may very well be managing your DNS in Cloudflare. So if that sounds familiar, I'm going to show you in Namecheap and in Cloudflare how to do these steps. But you're just going to go to where you host your domain. So in this example, I host this domain in Namecheap. I am going to go to the domain and to Advanced DNS. And this is where I'll be able to add new records. It's going to ask you to add three CNAME records. The type of record is CNAME and then you have two things you're going to copy and paste. You have the host and points to. So inside of Namecheap, we're going to go to our advanced DNS, click on add new record. From the drop down here, we're going to select CNAME record. And then we have here what's called host and then it says target. And we're just going to copy the host for the first one, paste that in, and then points to, we're going to paste that in for the target, and then click the green check mark. Okay? The green check mark will save your changes there. Now you're just going to repeat the process for the other two. CNAME record, paste the first text here, 
and then paste in the second. And then click the green check mark to save. One more to go. We're just copying and pasting. We're choosing CNAME record. Once we have these three records, we're going to click yes, I confirm that I've completed the steps above and click finish. Okay, now you'll see pending validation. Automated validation is in progress. It's going to tell you it could take up to 48 hours. It probably won't, but it could. And we're going to just wait to see um, how long that takes to validate. So let's check and see. It's still pending. Over here in Namecheap, I'm just going to make sure that I've got one, two, and three, and I've checked so that all of them have saved. So uh, now let me show you what it would be like for a domain in Cloudflare. Okay, so for this domain, this is schedule your session. So I'm going to come over here and Going to add a record keeping in mind that you will not have to do two of these you will not have to do two like I am I'm just doing two to show you how to do it inside of another DNS which is Cloudflare uh, another domain host which is Cloudflare so it's going to give me my three records I'm going to copy the host over here and go into in Cloudflare, you're going to go to your domain and then go to DNS on the left-hand sidebar. You'll get to your DNS manager, which looks like this. You'll click Add Record. Select the type CNAME. We're going to paste in the first bit of text in the name. And then the points to is going to go into the target. And then we're going to click Save on this one. We're going to turn off that proxy there. We got a warning, so we're going to turn off that proxy and click Save. Come back over, copy the host side, add a new record, select CNAME. In the name, we're going to paste in that host text and we're going to copy the points to text and put that in for target. Turn off the proxy status and click save. And then let's just do that last one, the third one. And save. Oops, I forgot to click off that proxy. It's going to give you a warning if you forget like I did. And then just click Save. And now we have those three CNAME records in here. Now, keeping in mind that outside of these three records, you also need to create your SPF, your DKIM, and your DMARC. And those need to be added into your DNS. So into here or here, depending on what you're using, and if you're using something else like Google Domains or GoDaddy, you're going to find your DNS section and just do the same process. It will be very similar. And then we can come in here and say, yes, I confirm that I've completed the steps above and finish. And you can see that this one connected really fast. It's already connected. Business Builders is taking a little bit. Um, but that is okay sometimes that happens so you'll just give it a little bit and then just refresh your sc screen to come back to see if you have been validated once you're validated and connected you're good to go on inside of Kartra you just need to make sure that you get your SPF your DKIM and your DMARC set up